church I've, I've been singing for 25 years and uh, my wife Cheryl uh, went to went to choir practice every Thursday night um, and so for two years I thought well why am I sitting here alone and I like to sing so I went to uh, choir practice too and they invited me to sing for Christmas and then Easter and then the next year I, I joined the choir and I've been singing um, in the choir for 25 years. Well, ever since I was little, I've always enjoyed singing, and I went to 9 o'clock Mass with my family and listened to the girls who sang there, and so I learned a lot from them. But also, I started singing when I was in high school, like from a, a director, and I realized that I really enjoyed singing in church, so I joined the youth choir. And then I was asked to sing as a cantor over the summer, so probably for six years I've been singing in the summer. And also with the psalm, I have learned a lot. Although it was challenging at first, singing all by myself, I learned that it really gave me some closeness with God. And I found that when I was leaving church that I was just a little bit more brighter. So, yeah. Well, you know, in our regular everyday life, when I'm out fishing or if I'm playing golf <laughs> and I, I, uh, I see the Lord all around us. I see God everywhere I, I turn. And uh, the psalm reminds me that the Lord is everywhere. The flowers that we see here today, the plants growing in my niece, Anjali, <laughs> uh, everywhere. Yeah, I think that even when I'm not going to church in Thunder Bay, I feel his presence around me. And basically this psalm reminds us that he is around us and near us everywhere. So it's, it's nice. <laughs> yeah, the, the, um, the psalm really reflects the gospel and the, word, the message of the day uh, in the gospel. And uh, Marcy, our, my, my choir director, always uh, stresses that we are singing the words of the Lord um, for the congregation and for ourselves, of course. So the words are very structured. We have uh, we have a refrain, and then the the assembly sings the refrain back, and then we have a verse, and then the refrain, and so we get an opportunity to listen to that refrain over and over again, and we listen, we can listen to those words very closely and how they relate to the words of the Lord uh, in the gospel. Mm -hmm.